Hello, my name is Dr. Gustavo Morales with the Alabama Cardiovascular Group at Grandview Medical Center. I'm here today to talk to you about the most common arrhythmia that we encounter in our patients, which is atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation is a chaotic, fast rhythm of the top chambers of the heart that can lead to the most fear complication, which is stroke. Atrial fibrillation produces the top chamber not to contract appropriately, therefore there's stagnant blood in the top chamber of the heart that could result in clot formation, specifically in one small structure of the heart called the left atrial appendage. Patients that have atrial fibrillation therefore will require blood thinners to prevent uh, clot formation and decrease the risk of stroke. And these blood thinners work well, however, in certain patients population will not be advisable to take long-term blood thinners as they may be at increased risk of bleeding in other areas of the body. Therefore, back in the year 2015, the FDA approved the use of a small occluder device called the Watchman that is intended to block or occlude that little pouch called left atrial appendage. Therefore, the patients can come off blood thinners when they are considered not a good candidate for long-term use of blood thinners. This left atrial appendage occluder device or, or watchman has been proven effective compared to the traditional blood thinner warfarin. Nowadays, most of our patients are taking the new blood thinners and Grandview Medical Center is involved in the clinical trial um, uh, designed to um, uh, compare the watchman, new generation watchman device with the new blood thinners. This trial is called the Champion AF trial. We were fortunate to be the first hospital in Alabama to implant the first Watchman Flex device for this study. This is a very important study that will answer the question if the new generation Watchman it is uh, better or equivalent to the new oral blood thinners that we are currently using. If you or someone you know has a diagnosis of atrial fibrillation not related to any valve heart problems and is already taking oral blood thinners, may qualify for this clinical study. If there's other added risk factors such as high blood pressure, age older than 65, or previous vascular disease or stroke. Today, most of these procedures are done as an outpatient. They require general anesthesia and we can access to your heart uh, from a groin stick with a little tube that allows us to position the watchman in place. Understanding the role of uh, the Watchman device compared to the new blood thinners is extremely important as most of our patients will benefit of one intervention instead of having to take blood thinners for an extended period of time and be exposed to the risk of bleeding in the future. The Alabama Cardiovascular Group at Grandview Medical Center is proud to be able to offer this important clinical trial to our patients. If you are interested in knowing more or participating in this clinical trial or other clinical trials that we have available, please contact the number below.